Testing, testing. Significance, harms, inherency, topicality, solvency. Quiet, please. Cell phones off, please. Judges ready? Timer ready? The affirmative will please begin. It will come as no surprise to the judges, our esteemed opponents from Townsend Prep, nor really to anyone at all in the audience, that we, the affirmative from Plainsboro High, do hereby support this year's national policy debate resolution, which I am supposed to recite now as if after an entire school year could still somehow be unknown to any of us. That is ridiculous. Therefore, instead of senselessly repeating it, I will offer up a moment of silence during which I'd like every one of you to say the resolution aloud. It will be a final communal act for all of us, the high school policy debaters of New Jersey. Ready, set, go. For those of you who aren't done, I apologize, but there's a reason why I'm up here and you're down there. And if you please, right now, we're going to go at my pace. Hang on if you can. Our plan today is succinct. Only by becoming a fully socialist regime will the United States government ever emerge as the true moral leader of the free world and thus create a lasting peace. Therefore, we support amending the Constitution of the United States to outlaw all political parties that do not embrace socialism with their core philosophy. On the stage of the New Jersey State High School Policy Debate Championships that spring night stood Ben Wexelbaum of Plainsboro High. To anyone who ever heard Ben debate, there was one thing that was undeniable. He had a voice. Even then, on that May night, a real voice. <gasps> You're all wondering, when on earth is he going to get to farming subsidies? At long last, the link to farming, which is no doubt obvious by now, agricultural societies collapse under capitalism and thrive under socialism. And agriculture has always been a necessary industry. Without agricultural civilization, Paris is As Ben Wexelbaum set out the complexities of their plan, his partner was biding her time, picturing how it would look up there the only trophy missing from her crowded, gleaming shelf. One team on the affirmative, arguing for the resolution. The other on the negative, tearing it down. This year's national resolution is specifically about farming subsidies, not socialism. By overstepping the resolution, they haven't met their prima facie burden to defense that resolution and should be considered untopical. Subsidies are at their heart an extension of socialism. That's from Gutierrez 03. That the negative team has no legitimate arguments against socialism is in our fault. They didn't penetrate the subject as deeply as they should have. To suggest that we haven't refuted the very basis of socialism is fallacious and specious. I refer you again to delicious quotes my partner read regarding the nature of And so it goes. The high school debate, like the war that rips through your city and ravages everything in its path. Kids wielding words like weapons and brandishing ideas like axes. Nothing else mattered in that final round. There was no world beyond it. Except that 46 miles away, Al Hefner was at home, just sitting at home, like nothing or none of New Jersey was burning around him.